Welcome to Green Diamond Equipment Halifax, one of 14 locations in the Maritimes. We want to make your tractor buying experience a great one, and we have some ideas on how we can help ensure you get the right product for your application the first time. Please stop in to our Halifax branch at 270 Horseshoe Lake Drive in Bears Lake. We will help identify the machine that will best suit your needs and budget. From there, we encourage you to take advantage of our offer to try a machine out. Specs are one thing, but sitting in the seat and operating one of our machines will give you an appreciation of what the machine will be able to accomplish in your yard. We keep a wide variety of tractors in stock ready to go, so stop in today or call to arrange to meet with one of our sales staff. Welcome back to Green Diamond Equipment. I'm Anthony Allen and today we're going to talk about under 25 horsepower tractors. As you can see in our lineup here, we've got three different frame sizes from our 1023E up to our 3025E. The first two units we're going to look at is the 1023 and 1025R tractors. Uh, the major differences between these two tractors are the upgraded features of the 1025R. You go into a suspension seat with armrests. Uh, tilt steering, uh, some extra trim level uh, with the cowling and the rubber floor mat and cruise control. That's your major difference between the two tractors. Uh, the 1023 is a little less horsepower. The loaders are identical. When we move to the 2025R, uh, this tractor is built on the same frame as the 1 Series, but they lengthened the frame out to give a little more wheelbase. It has quite a bit more ground clearance. Uh, it use, utilizes the same model loader and backhoe if you're uh, going for that option. Uh, now it does have a little bit more performance uh, in speed and lift capabilities and pump output. On the 3025E, this is built on the traditional 3E platform uh, with the smaller engine in it to give it the 25 horsepower. The 3E series tractor gives you a lot of tractor at low cost. This comes with a loader mounted hydraulic valve for the loader controls where the R series comes with the valve mounted in the fender right next to your armrests. When we look at the full lineup, our 1 series seems to be more suited for large property owners landscaping and uh, work around the property. Uh, the 2025 is going to give you that more ground clearance to get in more around more obstacles and then when we get to the 3E that's going to give us a, a heavier frame tractor for doing more heavier work uh, pulling or pushing power. The 1E through the 2R uh, gives a standard mid-PTO. It also comes right now with a John Deere backhoe option. The 3E is coming out with a John Deere backhoe option in the near future. This is the new 260B backhoe, new for this year. Um, it fits the 1025, 1023, and 2025R. Um, first thing we look at, some nice new features. You got a grab handle here for getting up on the tractor, also a step for the stabilizer. Uh, they put stabilizer uh, lock handles here so the stabilizers won't fall down when it's not in use. The new transport locking pins here for the main boom and the swing uh, also should be in during storage. Integrated thumb mounting positions now. Uh, we have a BX banded uh, thumb installed on this one. Um, also, metered uh, hydraulic controls. It's a little smoother operation for the uh, boom and backhoe uh, functions. Uh, this new backhoe has its own seat now. So you flip the uh, original seat on the tractor up forward and then the backhoe seat falls down in that place. Uh, that allows you to actually use the seat belt in the backhoe seat now as well. Thanks for joining us again and hopefully we provided lots of information to help you make your decision on an under 25 horsepower tractor. Uh, feel free to contact us anytime here at Green Diamond Equipment and have a great day.